Hey there, everybody. Just getting started here on uh, day two. First victim right there. This is a thinning job, so we're just cutting out the ones that they mark, leaving room for these other little guys to start growing, but super thick in here, so they'll come through and mulch all this. It'll look real nice when they're done, but that's mainly what this deal is. They leave some of these bigger ones, and but yeah, there's the first one. What do you think here, Jonah? So you want to put it over there? Yeah. Above that higher redwood? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like by that little madrone out there? Yeah, let me get this in the ground and I'll walk a little bit. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that <laughs> axe. I don't need a Jack, I got a Ramon. He's awesome. Oh, dude. I love that guy. Ramonimal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Sure looks good to me. Yeah, well, maybe you, I'm good. <laughs> We need Ramon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. I'll be stuck ten times by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All you nightmares. <laughs> Sounded great. Good job, bud. Good job, Gordy. Nice. Yeah, she wanted to go bad. Yeah. You can see where it was starting to lift. Right here. It lifted that right out of the. So that's, only only that's where I, I bored in right there. Over here, I probably would have stuck it in and sawed all that wood. Yep, all the way up. Yep. And to where I took gunned it up and then came over and finished it off. But okay, it worked out great. Nice looking stump. Yeah, just like you said, it slid down. Yeah. Sometimes that'll catch. And if it catches right there, that top will hit first. That's, it'll that's, whip the top down? Yeah, it'll, and then it'll shatter some of the tree. But I mean, that was a perfect shot. Look where Sounded it come good, across and saved out. skid it off there. What do you think? Three, three long logs, maybe four? Yeah, three long logs, easy. <laughs> I would say to make 31s, but you should probably make 33s. Okay. <laughs>
Come on, buddy, pull up. Man, I never get tired of that sound. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and she ain't pretty, and she ain't perfect. She's on the ground. But she's good enough for uh, the guys I run with. <laughs> your chain today not yet knock oh. on wood yesterday was the day yeah i lost about 12 yesterday what are you doing boss tricks okay. and tips right here right <laughs> let's see it everybody does this different some guys roll it on with their hands can't do it at all without a west coast side cover if you don't have a West Coast side cover on a 500, you can't do it. Got to get her on the sprocket first. She's on there. There you go. Okay. So some guys will roll it with their hand. I never do. I put I put it on something solid. I put my knee down here by the dogs. Make sure the chain's not in the bar rail at all. And then I just pull and push with my thumb. And it's back on. I don't have to roll it. That's nice. Dang, that is nice. I don't get my gloves in it when I'm wearing gloves. It's a lot easier. This guy right here, he's awesome. His name's Ramon. He works for Anton Stud. Love this guy. Nice shot. My stamp is not that low. <laughs> well, you're in the dirt. I even helped you dig over here, buddy. Looking good. And my chain maybe not too good anymore yet. <laughs>
uh, cutting these redwoods, it's completely different than anything I've ever cut before. The, uh, I was saying before that the bark, it, it, uh, it swells, this cambium layer swells, and I'll show you. So like on the stump here, you got your bark, and then there's this little layer right there. You can see it swells. I don't know if you can get it on camera, but that's probably up at least a quarter of an inch. So if you, you know, are running a chain and you start out, you know, with a new chain, it does pretty, pretty decent because it's, you know, getting a bigger curve, keeping that thing open. But as soon as your chain gets down to like, what do you say, Anton? Half? Yeah, Explain. when they stopped making 404 and they stopped making CJX, the redwood collars had a hard time. The chain's waist, the tooth cutter tooth is way smaller. So when you get down, it's wide. When you first buy a brand new chain and it necks down. Yep. As the chain gets old and it just will not cut redwoods without shaving the bark. Everybody's like, oh, why do you shave the bark on redwood trees? Well, for a few reasons. One, I want to get my saw all the way through there and there's six inches of bark. Number two, that curve. They're like, that's a lot of bark. That, that, uh, that cambium layer will, will grab your chain and so you want to get that off of there. Yeah. You can just push on your saw for all your might and you can't get it to bite into this stuff at all. It's yeah it's crazy it just won't feed so having the right chain is as soon as it's down yeah. you're done yeah i mean if i'm gonna cut fur you can you can run a chain all the way down to, to the teeth pop off but in redwood about halfway to sometimes a little bit more yeah and your gullets have to be out and your rakers have to be perfect and it's still just a real pain in the butt and you can go you know a little bit crazier on your grind or your file yeah. angles because redwood's a little bit softer but yeah, just a totally different tree than what anything I've ever cut. And that bark is dusty, you know, it's great for testing out air filters out here. <laughs> <laughs> How's your stack doing? It's good. I, I like it. I mean, I've never run one before and before I had this saw and I like it. Yeah. It um it performs well on this saw for sure. Yeah, the foam does really well. I mean, I've tore a couple of them. But just from, you know, catching on the brush and stuff. But I would have thought I would have tore these wires off. And yeah. I never tore those wires off, not one time. <laughs> now you will in yeah. about five minutes. <laughs> Probably. I need to get the old black tape trick out. What do you think here? Let's get this big boy over here. Yeah, there's one more big one over there we can get. Come back. My right chain's here. rock, so I'm done for the day. I'm not walking back to the truck, so. Shall we, shall we say how you rocked your chain? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Throw me under the bus. Oh, that's terrific. Why, why don't you just feed me to the lions? What? Step on my head when I'm drowning. What a, what a great friend. What do you mean, what? <laughs> Get her out there. I mean, <laughs> Conrad's axes are tough. That's all I got to say. Ramon has a uh, battle wound on his axe now from uh, Gordy's beautiful sharp chain. <laughs> hey, it's something for, to remember me by. There you go. Yeah. You won't forget me. It didn't actually hurt that axe. At all. I mean, it just no. made a little mark. No. It's hard to I have to say, I'm pretty bad. It hurt my chain. <laughs> all the way off. Like right out over that furthest spur. Not this one. I'm going to top out on that one, though. Okay, because no there's stumps all through there. You want me to go right between those two? Yeah, just. And it won't top out on this one. Okay. But it, it should. The tip should be pretty. Stumps on this side of it? Yeah. Okay. Pretty close to the tip of the other one. Okay. I mean, within five feet. Of
let's try this axe out. Over a, a beat. Nice. Nice shot. All right, last tree of the day right here. A couple more back there, huh? Yeah, there's four, but three of, them, three of them go and one of them doesn't. I think I'll have to take that front one for putting it out to our left. And then I'll put this one. I'll put, I'll put that one out there and I'll put this one here. And then I'll put that one over there. If people ask, why we shaved the bark? And you get rid of that cambium layer. There's that cambium layer right there. Yep. So you get in there and you're actually biting in and then this all feed. And you don't need much. You just need a patch here and there. Those are some big growth rings. Size of my finger and my foot. These things grow so fast. That was Anton. Okay, done? Yeah. You don't want to no more. What? I thought we're done. There's always tomorrow, buddy. There's always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Day three. Yeah. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> <laughs>